I have been a stock Android user for most part of my digital life. It started with Nexus and then I moved to Pixel. But I recently started using this Redmi Note 5 just to see what the fuzz is all about. And I have to say, I can totally see why it's the best seller in India. Yes, it does have its fair share of problems like lack of Android updates and ads. I mean, who shows ads on Android? That being said, they do few things right. So here are some of my favorite Xiaomi features that I would like to get on stock Android. Let's begin. There are times when you want to use two versions of the same app. For me, it's usually Reddit. So say if you want to binge watch some not suitable for work subreddits, then you can easily use the guest mode. But not every application is generous enough to have a guest mode. And then you are left with no other way than to juggle between two different accounts. Fortunately on MIUI, you can simply find a native dual apps option under the settings. Simply find the application that you would like to run on dual mode and toggle it. For example, I have two Audible accounts with different audiobook collection in it. And I like to listen to both of them without switching my accounts. So simply create a dual mode for Audible. And now I can be signed into two different Audible accounts at the same time. Or you can even use it to install WhatsApp if you have a dual SIM phone. Pretty cool. Now it's not just Xiaomi, Huawei and Samsung, they also have this dual app mode. So it's about time that stock Android should have it too. Another overlooked feature of Xiaomi is the Wi-Fi password sharing. So say if a friend comes over and asks for your Wi-Fi password, you either give them a password, which could be risky, or type in yourself on their phone, which is boring. Now on a Xiaomi device, you can simply tap on the Wi-Fi name and it will generate the QR code. Simply ask your friend to scan it with their device camera app and they are connected. The cool thing is you don't even have to install a third party QR code app. The phone camera app works just fine. In fact, it's not just Xiaomi, even iPhone lets you share Wi-Fi password over the air. So it's about time that stock Android should have it too. To take screenshot on most Android devices, you have to hold down the power and volume down button. Pretty standard stuff. But I like the fact that they have improved this on Android P. Now all you have to do is press and hold the power button and you will get the screenshot option there. It's much more intuitive and faster. Plus you can also edit them right then and there. But it still misses the long screenshot option that Xiaomi has. Now I personally don't use this feature much, but I can clearly see why some people do. So say if I want to send a WhatsApp conversation or my Instagram feed, then just use the three finger swipe and then tap on scroll option. This will generate a long screenshot. Yes, if you're sending this over WhatsApp, you need to send it as a file rather than an image or it will compress the hell out of it. But that's not the point. In fact, I would love to see this feature coming on stock Android. Just add a small scroll button at the bottom like Xiaomi did. Another super handy feature for a bigger phone like Redmi Note 5 or Mi Mix 2 is the native gesture support. So here is how it works. Simply swipe from the left or right to go back or if you swipe from the bottom, you go to the home screen. Swiping up from the bottom and hold will also open the multitasking. Now it might look like a blatant copy of iPhone 10, which is true for most part, but then Oppo, Vivo and OnePlus, all of them have a gesture support. Yes, you can get the same result by using apps like Fluid Navigation like we showed you in the previous video. But having an option built in will be awesome. It's about time that stock Android should start adding a native way to log application just like Xiaomi. I mean, who doesn't have a dark secret? On Xiaomi phone, there's a built in option to lock or unlock application by using a pattern or fingerprint. And there's a reason why it has to be a part of the package. You see, if you're using a third-party app locker, more often than not, they will show you a small preview before showing the lock screen. I mean, just look at it, how flawlessly this native feature works compared to a third-party application. Another advantage of having this feature built in like we have in Xiaomi is that you can hide application in the recent screen so that nothing is visible from the multitasking window. And it's not just Android, I seriously want this feature to be on iOS as well. Because as of now, you can't even use a third-party application to lock iPhone and iPad. In general, I like the look and feel of stock Android. It's clean and it's light. But every now and then, we can still use some customization, like we used to get in Cyanogen mode or even a theme engine like Substratum. The theme store in Xiaomi is pretty well organized with new entries, most popular themes and editorial picks. You can pick up a theme like Pixel and it's not just carry the look and feel, but it also carries the ringtone and fonts. How cool is that? Now I'm using this Niagara launcher, so you won't be able to notice the difference, but it's pretty close. Though the best part of this theme would be the customization level. Every part of the theme can be mixed and matched from several themes, 
For example, I want a fusion of Pixel and an iPhone. Don't ask me why. So I can just pick up one element from Pixel and keep the rest from iPhone or vice versa. So these were some of my favorite Xiaomi features that I would love to see on any stock Android, especially the Pixel. And if I have to pick one, it will be the gaming mode of Poco F1. Now I know, you may be thinking, Renal, you can easily replicate these features using any third-party application. And of course, you can. But this is what the version updates are for. Find the most popular third-party app and then make them build in. Like they did with the screen recording app that we got somewhere around Android KitKat. Or even replacing Greenify with Toast or Twilight with Blue Light Filter. You know, that's how update works. Anyway, let me know which is your favorite feature that you would like to get on stock Android. Like always, it's Minar signing off. I will see you in the next one.